Good evening, everyone. This is Mulberry Bush 934 and Psychic Medium Tree with another episode of Mulberry Trimmings. You can find out more about us and the show at AroundTheMulberryBush.com and PsychicMediumTree.com. You can also find the show on our YouTube channel under Around the Mulberry Bushes Station. And tonight we will be taking callers and reading on the meaning of the justice card. Cool. Yeah. So you have some stuff to show. So let me um, take pictures of that so I can okay. at least have. So, so there that... was a little bit of small talk. I wanted to mention something neat I learned this week in my metaphysical travels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please All right. hear it. So you know how um, on Sundays I go down to St. Augustine and I go and I visit the saint relics that are in there. I, I visit St. Paul and St. Peter and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, guess who else is in there? Who? Did I tell you? No. Oh, okay. Nicholas of Myra, the saint. Really? Yeah. Do you know who that is? Do you know St. Nicholas? Do you know him? You don't know Saint, exactly. Saint Nicholas is who they named Santa Claus after. Oh, yeah. Saint Nicholas. So the bone yeah. fragment of Saint Nicholas <laughs> is actually in Saint Augustine. Oh, I, that sounds that is incredible. But it's weird. Yeah. I know. I couldn't believe it. I'm like actual Santa Claus. That is, is incredible. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm excited. Well, it is kind of Christmassy down there I, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I might make a Christmas special out of, you know, St. Nicholas's Bones, and oh. maybe I'll drive down to Christmas, Florida. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Well, so the Justice card, I wanted to ask what, what it means to you um, when you read it. Well... Justice represents balance, right? So for me, and mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. It's hard to say because my perspective on that's a little different because I saw it from like that side of it, like the application to the law side. That yeah, there's a part where you get into some of the fine details of the law when you're really trying to find out if you can press against somebody or not. That you read actually in the law where it says stuff like color of the law. And color of the law is when the lawyers haven't been able to figure out a, a right way to articulate out how obvious it is that it is or isn't right, you know, <laughs> to the point that it's become a philosophy. And mm -hmm. good, good arguments for that yeah. are like, if you work a job in America, you owe the Social Security on it because the business owes the Social Security. But what if that business has hired somebody that is a foreign exchange? Mm -hmm. The color of the law comes up. Oh, so yeah. justice sometimes is just about balance and doing the right thing. Not necessarily stung cold, cut by the book work. Right. And you know what? It's interesting because I had a reading today. Mm. And so when meditating, I was meditating that this woman was um, either in the process of divorce or headed for it. And so then after the meditation, I verify with two different decks of cards, both pulled up the justice card, which for me, a lot of times signifies divorce. For me, if it's upside down, it's not going to go so easy and you're going to lose a lot of money and you're going to lose out. And maybe you should reconsider <laughs> yeah. because of the nature of the upside down reversed and it depends on what cards follow it, but with it upright, then it's like, well, this is necessary. This is happening. There's not really a way to avoid it. And it really should go your way. And a lot of times um, I'll pull that if somebody else was in a legal battle, upright would be that, well, things are going to be, you can, it's going to be fair and just. Um, mm but upside down it's like oh wrongly accused or you're not really going to get a a just you know decision mm. so that's for me how i use it although there are other significances of the card there are. just like what you said there are i'll yeah. go over it when i talk about it in the paragraphs <laughs> okay. ahead but yeah. um there is a topic relative to um, telling the future and fortune telling and all of that stuff in, in relation to justice as well. So I'll hmm. cover that though. But okay. let me let me start with the first tunes. Sometimes it'll 
you'll you'll pull a justice card when you're considering um, balance or pros and cons of a situation. But I think it is interesting in the way we perceive justice, because in truth, there is no justice. The only justice is karma. Mm. Because I know a lot of people have said, you know, oh, there's these school shootings and, you know, because of all the guns that are mm. available. And so then they put, you know, the person on trial and they want justice. Well, yeah. they really can never get justice. They'll never get these poor little kids back right. out of moms and dads. And it yeah. breaks my heart. Um, but that's an example of there is no justice what we should be looking at in the world now that we are, you would think, an evolved society. Yeah. But what we should be looking at is correction, not punishment. And by that mm. meaning is that um, if somebody has done something, uh, that if, they're, if they can be corrected, then fix it. Great. Um, but that would be for small offenses. But heinous crimes, there is no correction. The only thing you can do is protect the people from these heinous offenders. Mm. And so um, that is an interesting concept that we really need to relook at justice because uh, it, it really doesn't yeah. exist. Karma no. is our only justice yeah. <laughs> because no matter what you do good or bad it comes back in different shapes and forms mm, that is true that is true all right so here um let me go ahead and read the um the little ditty about the next tune and um this part i was going to have you read the um love meaning of justice yeah. and then i was going to go over in the first amendment what rights that means when it says the government doesn't have the right to make a religion for you and you have the right to your own religion and all this other stuff what does that mean so i'll break down that after we read this the yellow uh, the, the, green, the green which is just that okay so meaning. i'm going to talk about the justice love meaning when the justice card appears you're kind of weighing like we talked about the pros and cons of a possible relationship or the state of your love life. Um, you should put your emotions on the back burner to come up with decisions that's going to like benefit you or your partner. So it's, it's just ordering your thoughts, trying to keep logic in there because love has to make sense. Um, otherwise it, it will not work. Um, so for the long run, it has to situationally make sense. Uh, sometimes the justice card can mean there's a mismatch between how much you're giving and how much you're receiving. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. that's balance. interesting. Yeah, because yeah. of the scale thing. Yeah, and there's that's a lot so of good. there's a lot of relationships you see where it's just give, 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 and that's even in friendships. Yeah. If you're constantly the one to call them text yeah. them invite them somewhere but then after a while you're like wait a minute there's no reciprocity here. yeah yeah <laughs> right right where's the mm -hmm. where's the equality part of it right, right. and the, as we talked about before in love you have to be a hundred percent in because a percentage in is just not going to work yeah yeah that's so, true yeah that's very true <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and read. This is the five things that the First Amendment freedoms are. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to read here. Okay. Um, the First Amendment protects these five freedoms, the freedom of religion. It is a constitutional right to have your own belief or philosophy, thoughts, expressions, or conscience. Okay. Um, freedom of press, it is a right to print and produce materials of your belief. Freedom of speech, it is your right to openly give your opinions. Um, freedom of assembly, it is your right to hold public meetings or gatherings without the government interfering. And freedom of petition, it is your right to tell the government when you disagree. 
Yes. No, those no, are the well, five. It's coming. In, in problems with throughout history, though, is in the United States, we may have the right for something, but uh, not everyone has been equally given the rights. That is true. And <laughs> so. this, this next song uh -huh. that I'm going to play it, it, is relative to that. Is um, it? Okay. Yeah, because, all right, this this song came out right right at, like, the, the basket birth of the Black Lives Movement and stuff like that. And um, that... Okay, I try to explain this to people all the time. A riot is not illegal. There's right. nothing illegal about it's a riot. It's just the folks be. that haven't been able to afford the legislation to get the point across, and it's gotten yeah. to the point where they've been well organized. That's well mm -hmm. organized. They're, they're well thought out. They know where they're going to block off, and it's not there to do. Destruction of property is not good. That's illegal. Right. That, right. that part of a riot is not good. Um, killing people, which never happens, but mm -hmm. it could. That would be illegal as well. Mm -hmm. Like Charlottesville, that happened in Charlottesville. Oh, yes. Somebody died. That was illegal to murder in the mm -hmm. middle of a riot like that, you know. But the riot itself is not illegal. It's just troublesome. Yes. Yeah. But so is marching into the state house. Right. That's troublesome too. And it's interesting because, you know, we had people marching into the state house and they got, um, you know, just like community service and really kind of a slap on the hand. But then in Portland, I guess a couple of years prior, mm. there was the opposite political party and they were marching in Portland and they got sprayed down and beaten by police. Oh, wait till we get to the end so, of tonight. Anyways, job. what we're saying is there should be justice. Justice mm. is truly a, a ideal an ideal because it does not exist yeah unless it's karma so, okay. That's, well <laughs> it is an ideal though that we should shoot for that justice. is true and justice mm -hmm. is a uh, law justice is a set of rules to abide by and to use as your gauge in weighing things yes and stuff. It's an so ideal. That, that is where you find that equality between people that's why laws exist and things like that. That's why mm -hmm. the rules are established for a reason. Yep, guidelines so and rules. That that is the biggest impact. Mm -hmm. yep. So that that impact is kind of you know puts pressure. Yep. On so legislatures and. I got to Baltimore a year after the riots and all that stuff. I was there the next year. You know. Mm -hmm. And so I got to talk to people because it was just Uber and we were driving around and everything. And um, it was very organized. Even organized crime, their block, which everybody knows, in <laughs> organized. moved out of their neighborhood real quick so that that could become where if you got hurt during the riot, that's where you got your EMT work. <laughs> Honest. Well, I have to so, say that Maryland is one of the most Baltimore knows educated. How to have a I can tell you. Yeah, they are one of the most educated states in the country. In the, so. in the, in the 250 <laughs> years of American history, Baltimore's had five riots. We're very proud of that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We know how to riot, people. We know when to put up our fists. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So um, did you want to... Um, yeah, I wanted to the... talk just a little bit about career and work. Yeah. When you pull justice card for career or work, that says be cautious because... When you pull the justice card for career work, that that's telling you to be cautious because um, you're being watched or critiqued. Oh, okay. And so maybe you're not aware of it, but Ooh. you know that's like kind of somebody over you. Yeah. Yep. Like a judge. Yeah. yeah. Like you're being judged. Mm, that's so. interesting. Mm -hmm. And is curious. Got. I don't. Now let's talk about the reversal. Injustice. Yeah. And this is what we were talking about. Yes. With injustice with um, people getting like falsely arrested and things like that. Yeah, I, I suppose. Forgot. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> most of our most of what we covered was we did cover some of that. Um, I have an actual career thing that I did that fixed an injustice I think in my in my mind and I think the people that helped me change it mm -hmm. but where I worked are 
policy was to collect the tax debt off of local businesses that were employing foreign exchange workers. Mm -hmm. So all these Romanians would come over and work in the summer and, you know, in the lakes region and all that stuff. And then we would tell them that they, that the business owed the unemployment tax on them. However, those Romanians were not American citizens. So when they became unemployed, they weren't allowed to collect unemployment. So yeah. you know what I did? I yeah. said, oh, heck no, that is not how it works. And mm -hmm. then I marched in, and I talked to lawyers, and I talked to all the people in my workplace that were involved in the process of changing this in, in, in the agency and all that other yeah. stuff. And my write-up and my letters and my big pieces of paper and all that stuff and the digging into the tax code of the federal code and everything to get to the color of the law. Yeah. Like how I talked about there is a gray area where you're – you're really talking about justice. Yeah. You're not talking about whatever some lawyer 20 years ago thought to put into legislation when he meant this, mm -hmm. but didn't know to say it this way. Mm -hmm. So you look at, the, like, it's not right to tax somebody just because they are a worker at a place, and we didn't think about the fact that they might be a foreign exchange student later and they can't collect the money, yeah. you know? So <laughs> it had to go before Whoa. the state legislator Right, which means all the House of Representatives had to vote to change it, wow, and yeah. then the state Senate had to vote to change it, okay. and they changed Good. it. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's awesome. I had a law changed. That is. Really it was incredible. Cool. It was insane. I'll yeah. never do it again. <laughs> you know what? People think, oh, I don't need to say anything. I don't make a difference, and you yeah. just proved it right there. One person. Right, but it's just like you said earlier too. It's difference. not by myself. I didn't. No, I, I was not all three hundred state reps, and I was not all senators. But, I definitely but was you, not the law people that told me how to write every. Like, it was them helping me articulate a lot of the research I'd already done and pulled up the law code for it. That's right. There's a lot to it. Yeah. There's a lot to it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And also, an injustice we're seeing privatized prisons now and people getting unjustly put in prison yeah. and unjustly arrested because they make a lot of money the court system <laughs> from the lawyers to the courthouse to bail bonds that's that's a big money racket now yes yeah. and that breeds some injustice and then the crimes don't always, you know, match the punish. I mean, the punishment doesn't match the crimes, which I, I believe for non heinous or non, you know, uh, aggressive offenders yeah. it sh should be um, correction, not punishment. Yeah. So there is a lot of injustice, speaking of the card. Right justice and injustice but yeah. you know when i see in when i see a card upside <clears throat> down and it's the justice card i do see it as injustice mm. and if you know if you're talking about um, a lot of times the client will come to you and you know she might have the injustice card but you can see that there's other legal things around mm. then you know that she's either going you know through a court case or it could be a custody battle or divorce and she's not getting a fair shake yeah so, that's yeah. true that well that that um that is mutually an argument now with the mm -hmm. um johnny depp divorce oh there's there's wicked women now too <laughs> you know that girl's wicked it goes both ways she's, evil. she's an evil woman that's what they're saying so i'm like haha justice is served or something i don't know that's a whole different politic there it's yeah, unfortunately, so there really is no justice, but justice no. is an ideal that, yeah. that we should all try for. And the court systems and, you know, our court systems are are flawed like everything else, but we should at least be promoting and trying for justice. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the tough part. With The reason we say justice is blind is because of that. We say, mm -hmm. you know what? Way too many people have been hit on this road because people are going 50 miles an hour. So we need to make it a law that people can only go 35 here. Mm 
Mm -hmm. right and then so that's what we do we do that and then one day somebody really needs to get to the hospital because they just like chopped off their toe or something crazy and they have to go 50 (laughs) miles an hour in that same spot that's a given circumstance that might be an exception to the law but it still broke the law so they get in trouble right so Mm -hmm. justice is blank it's not always fair it isn't (laughs) the worst one was the the teacher of the year who she got falsely arrested after she got teacher of the year award here in this county then some girl that was 14 uh, cyber bullied her online mm. so the teacher the next day called her into the classroom and said hey you know don't do that that that's that wasn't nice mm. you don't cyber bully people and so the girl went to the office hit herself in the face and she messed up her hair and then falsely claimed that the teacher did it is that right <laughs> yes and wow. then the teacher that's very mafia. was yeah, and then the teacher was arrested and lost her license. And, what? Um, yeah, and then, of course, it spent time um, in the pretrial jail, which is a horrible place, until they proved that this girl was making it all up, and um, she is not, the teacher was not guilty, of course. St. Augustine. To be teacher of the year, you really have to be awesome. And mm. everybody knew she was this this lady was had a fantastic reputation. And anyhow, make a long story short, she is quoted saying, "Hey, it wasn't right that I was guilty until proven as innocent. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty." Yeah. And yeah. so, anyways, I think uh, things will get better for her. Hopefully they'll reinstate her Mm. license and and give her back her job and so forth. But wow, you know, there's those situations that just make your skin crawl. There are, there are, you know, I, (laughs) with work, I've been thinking I need to, I need to dash cam. I know I'm Mm -hmm. I'm not going to because of the money part of it, but I I should because there are circumstances where I feel it would be unjust for me. Yes. So I need to have ways to prove that that I think having recordings would make my reality more fair. (laughs) Yes. Well, and, you know, there's uh, different departments and there are video recordings now and CCTV in Europe. And so... Some of it's a good thing. And I don't have any problem is, recording uh, my Uber rides. <laughs> I don't mind either in public places. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. I feel like it's a level of justice and protection. Yeah. Um, I'm, I need a new mulberry hat. It just will say, mulberry trimmings, you may be being recorded. <laughs> yes, although what's not justice is that if someone is recording you if you're doing something and they take it out of context, yeah, then that can also be injustice. That's true. You know, maybe you're making a face and it had nothing to do with right a response to someone else or you know, it, it's that's common as well. Right, that's true. Yeah, so. there is a lot of like faking things that way. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and another form of injustice that we see now is. Um, people's identity being hacked and yeah even little yeah kids identities being digitally digitally stolen yeah so, and towers being compromised and things like that because people yes. are petty and selfish and stuff you oh mean? yeah i know yes so we know that there's injustice in the world and all we can do is do our best to try to be part of that justice and good we put out in the world in the universe (laughs) that's true that's true usually by the book but sometimes you bend the rules there's there's gray zones for a reason yeah yeah there is that's for sure isn't it yeah yeah it's not all black and white no it's not yeah i think gray is also not oh and you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like everybody thinks black and white but I'm like, no, it's actually all three at the same time. It's black, white, and gray all at the same time. That's what makes the other two. Exi- the other two that you're not currently dealing with only mm-hmm. exist because of the one you are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Before we get eaten alive.
have. Let me turn it. All Ready? right. That's been good. Yeah, and we have a goodbye from last. <laughs> Our goodbye the last time was so perfect. I'm going to use it every time. I'm not kidding. I'm like, ah, the timing was just right with clips and how I do it and everything in the morning. <laughs>I guess we just need to wrap it up and um, tell everybody thank you for um, listening in. And yeah. Have a have a, a see you next time. We should say see you next time. That would be a good. Okay. Way to... Do we do that now? Yeah, it's recording now. Oh, okay. I'll just chop and slice whatever we need to. Yeah. Thanks for listening, and we will see you next time. Cool. Stay tuned.